Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Hey, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. It's a number that we have to talk about every single video. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. We back to blue over here. We support Leo, all Leo, corrections officers, FBI, all that stuff. How do you do that, Scab? But well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, Today we're doing the Solo Bolo by Condor. We're going to do some initial sharpness tests. Now, right out of the box, I did strop this knife. Uh, I do that to every knife. Um, I, it's just part of the thing. My deal is this, guys. If you want to see an unboxing or stuff like that, we do that on occasion. Uh, but my, my deal is I try to show the capabilities of the knife. There are knives that, yes, sometimes I do sharpen. This one I simply stropped. It came pretty sharp. I want to thank Joe from Steel, Forest, and Fire, Sword and Knife, for my intro. It's badass. I'm going to use both of them. The overwhelming vote was for number one, but I am going to use both of them because I love them. Joe, thank you again, my man, for doing that for me. Now, this is an 8-inch blade, 5 and a, about 3 quarter inch handle. It is a solo bolo made out of what the internet said was a high carbon German 1075, you know, is it? I don't know. I didn't make the damn thing. Now, I will say this. It has a prolonged swedge that is not sharpened. It's 3 16 blade stock, micarta handles, and it's got a black powder coating. They don't powder coat the spine. Now, some people are like, well, that doesn't do any good. No, it does do good if it's if the metal is uh, prepped correctly. We're doing the Donnie B all day throw it, the stump test, the balance test, and the D-bad stab test. If, it, if it's uh, prepped correctly, it is because that powder coating will seal it in. Rust can't travel through powder coat. Trust me, I ran a powder coating business for 10 damn years. So thank you. Let's see what kind of whack we got. Well, after doing the D-bad test, Jacob Lamb gave me this knife. There's some paracord just doing some basic cuts. And Jacob's a name you've heard on here quite a bit. And, and Jacob, I just want to thank you again for this knife. I thank you privately, of course. Uh, but Jacob has given me several knives, and I am so appreciative, not only to Jacob, but to Brett Sumner and some of you other guys who've donated knives. Man, it's helped me uh, to be able just to keep doing what I love doing. Um, you guys stepped up big, and I appreciate that. First impressions of the knife. I don't have a blade style like this. I think it's kind of a leaf style, maybe. I don't know. Somebody's going to correct me, as if I care. I, I love when people take the time to correct me. I, you haven't figured out in 570 videos, I really don't give a damn. The knife will either work or it won't. I think it's a leaf style. I'm not sure. Nor do I care. It worked out very well. I would say that it's probably a really good camp knife. But we're going to take a few minutes and just look at, look at some of the strengths of the knife. I'll say this about Condor. I love micarta handles and you'll see some of the feather stickings and some of the little curly cues that's coming off there this is a 25 degree edge bevel by the way um i love micarta handles there are some condors uh, their handles give me a hard time and there are hot spots this one did not i wasn't sure how I, at first glance at first pulling it out of the box i thought wow we got a slicer but Having used it, and as you'll see through this video, this thing is a hell of a chopper. And and if anybody knows me, and you guys know me well, um, I love choppers, dude. Here's some just some straight. When y'all see uh, this kind of test, or, or me hitting a board or something like that, and you're going, "Skid, you should you should go at steeper angles." I do when I cut trees down. What I'm doing right here, well, right here I'm cutting water hose. Um, now, let me say this, after I tested, I did some tests yesterday when I got home, and I just felt like after two videos, even though I wanted to do this video, I thought we may better release it today. So after testing yesterday, I like the sharpness of the knife. I like the overall feel of the knife. Um, I went ahead and 
ran it through the workshop when I was done, and you'll tell the difference because I went from a Home Depot shirt to a red shirt. You say, Scab, why did you do that? Again, show the capabilities of the knife. Came sharp enough, been fine, but I'm chasing, I'm kind of like Eric Hussein in that, well, I'm not like Eric Hussein because that dude could cut a gnat's ass in twain trying to get where Eric's at, but we both chase that next level shot. There's a little scab looking good in the red shirt. Now, out of, uh, just for the sheer fact of being honest, this is after I did run it through the work chart probably 15 to 20 times on uh, the coarse belt and the uh, medium belt and then uh, strop the fire out of it with all my strops. Now, right here, we're going straight down. I'm not trying, I am trying to cut the board in half. However, I'm not doing it for time and I'm not angling the board. I'm going straight down because I want to test this edge for you guys. We got about a 56 or a 58 on the Rockwell hardness and I just wanted to slam this knife into this board. Uh, this is going to be a little longer section so uh, you may want to go pee or something and come back because this is about a four minute ride. Y'all know I ain't going to just show you something one time. How did the knife perform in this test? Pretty damn good. Again, wasn't trying to cut it for time. If I would, I would have angled the board a little bit, uh, got some better, some steeper angles. But right here, man, I just wanted to slam this knife into the board. And so that's what old Scabber did. No pits, no chipping, no rolling, no nothing. This knife held up really well. And I said it the other day, I'll say it again. Thank you to Tyler from Alpha and Omega survival supply thank you to dj horn thank you to all you guys who who really recommended the stropping and insisted on the stropping you're right you guys are right it's held up it's made i i've yet i have yet to sharpen up that se avispa that dbad gave to me months ago now watch this bam do I like this knife? You damn right I do. Now that that th th this is about a one by six, something like that. It's not a two by anything. I think it's a one by six. But just to be able now, here I am farting around. You know some of this crap I got to learn to edit out. But you know, you get what you get with old scab. Bam! You about watch me cut my damn hand right off. Old scab looking lean there now. I, I weighed this morning. Uh, I'm down to two ninety two. Yes, that's down. I started at 345 on this journey. And to all you guys who have supported me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, many of you have shared stories of your own struggles with me in private, and, and that's where they'll stay. But let me just, let me tell you guys this. I draw inspiration from you guys. I really do. The encouragement, there's, there's so little negative on this channel, and I am forever thankful to you guys. And if y'all need me, if you're struggling with your weight, if anything like that, if you need to just chat or you need some encouragement, man, I'm behind you. I really am. I know what it's like. And let me encourage this. This, this ain't no Tony Robbins speech. This is just if, if you love your family, if your family loves you and you know they do, you owe it to yourself. I don't give a shit if it's just getting up and walking around the house two or three times extra till you can get moving. Let me encourage you to try to lose some weight. And I say that knowing I've yo-yoed, I've done all that. But remember months ago, I told y'all I was gonna lose weight. And I did that publicly, so there's some accountability there. And I just, I, I wanna say that I appreciate each and every one of you. Well, we're back to the just slamming the thing in. And I, I really wanted to test this knife. Now, the truth is this, guys. A lot of times, I will edit this kind of stuff out, I, I honest to God will, or I'll just show you a little bit of it, but I wanted y'all to see some of the true testing that we put this thing through. Now, let's look at the edge here, and I know it's hard to tell real good there, but you don't see any chips, any dings, any bings, any bends. Hell of a knife right there. Thank you again to Jacob Lamb. Now. We had to go to the woods, guys. The woods is my therapy. It really is. Plus, this is I I want to be in the woods because this is the way I like to test stuff. Now we're at Fort Scab Tongaroga. Um, I'm gonna have to get some of the machetes out. We'll have a machete video coming soon. 
because I see all that greenery that's all in the fort we got to get that cleared out of there um, to all my tree hugging friends it's time for that time of that day for the disclaimer these are all hackenberry I cut I do not cut oaks down I do not cut pines down I don't run around like a giggling idiot in the woods just cutting shit to cut shit. These trees are useless. You can't build with them, burn with them, cook with them, anything. They make my damn dog sick if they eat them. So that's what we try to chop down. And the truth of the matter is within the next month or, well, probably within this year, all these woods, unfortunately, are going to be cleared for making houses. I'm not thrilled about it, uh, but it is what it is. Now, here we're just doing some quick wax sharpening a point on this thing and getting it ready again no hot spots in the handle it's got going to work here son old swift hands running through the woods nimbly bimbly uh no hot spots on that handle do i recommend a knife if you need a good knife you need a good camp knife yeah i i really like this thing i mean i'm a fan of this i'm a huge fan of condor their knives are made in el salvador from a reputable company they used to, they used to use 1095 I'm a big 1095 fan, but they've gone a lot to 1075. The more I use it, the more I like it. The no look cut little scabs, huh? Just, yeah, just looking sexy as hell cutting stuff down there. The no look cut, uh, a lesser reviewer probably would have missed there, but not old scabber. Now watch it. One, two, okay. Supposed to fall three? Come on, son. Come on down. And it goes the wrong way. Well, nobody ever says Paul Bunyan. Now, I will say this for the, the Fort Scab Tongaroga is made out of Hackenberry uh, or Hackberry, however y'all say it. Again, somebody, Megan corrects me every damn video, so don't worry, y'all's champion will be on it. But I do use these trees to make Hackberry. Um, I have used some in some of my uh, tomahawks, like if I bust a handle before I get one in. I'll whittle one down, so I don't just cut stuff and leave it. I use it uh, for the fort and for piddling around, making punji sticks and bamboo traps, shit like that, you know. Kind of stuff we do out here. Country boy can't survive. Make a fishing pole out of it or something, son. I don't know. Use your imagination. I'm just standing here talking to a video screen, so I mean, at a point, son, y'all got to give me some credit. You know what I'm saying? There we go. We'll stand that up. Cut something down there off camera. Doesn't matter. There we go. Atta boy scat. Now, y'all see what I'm saying about the... Now, being out in the woods, I apologize. Uh, it got a little foggy out here. Son, the humidity is about 98%. So y'all, I mean, y'all got to work with me here. Old scab just hacking away there. Hacking away at the hacking berries. That's what you do. Now, we're going to cut these two and then process a couple real quick. The, the bite that this thing gets is pretty incredible and, and and the reason I thought it might be a slicer and not a chopper yeah I was a little nervous about the old uh, camera stand there is is the is this leaf style and again if that's wrong somebody correct me I know you will God knows uh, this leaf style blade it, it's balanced about an inch above the handle half inch above the handle so it's not heavy weight forward or weight forward heavy or anything like that but man this thing just gets it done on the chopping very impressed um you know the plan a of course the preacher the things that are made they're, they're hand axes they're going to chop a little better but no complaints with this knife none whatsoever now we got about a minute and a half left so while we got a minute and a half left let me talk to you about a couple things coming up Next Wednesday, we're going to do our live. Now, if Friday or Saturday or Sunday or something like that, if you if you look and you see that I'm on live, feel free to join in. I'm just going to do like a quick test. Um, as I don't know what day it'll be because I know we're going out of town Saturday. I'm going to do some bioluminescent kayaking at night. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I really am. Uh, probably the way I die, but you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but if you see me live, guys, feel free to jump on. Scab, how you doing? Megatron, love you. Anything like that. I want to make sure that we're good to go for our year anniversary. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is, I announced yesterday we started up our Discord. Guys, I want you to join us over on our Discord. Now, I'm, on a, I'm just now figuring stuff out. I am not good with it. I don't pretend to be. Uh, I got a couple admins that are. 
they make the rules and that's the way it is because I trust them and they're doing a good job. But I'm going to leave a link in the description. Join us on Discord. Um, I check into it two, three, four times a day. I'm enjoying it. Put a, put, put a pic on there of what you're carrying. Lord God, I'm going to tear up my camera. But please, join us over there. I'll put a link in the description and we'll go from there. Now, this afternoon, I've got, I, I'm, I got a, probably going to do one more video. I got to announce our uh, Steel Forged and Fire hitting 400. Congrats, Joe. I'm going to announce the winner of that on the ride home. Probably do a ride with Scabber. Well, guys, my boy Mikey says it best. Never give up. Never surrender. And everything will be all right. I'm Scab. You're not. I'm gone, son.